Hello YouTube, this video is going to be about the software, the free software that I use to record my voice and play it back when I'm doing the distance test. I did a video about how to hook it up. I'll post a link to that video. Um, this hooks up, you take a handheld uh, radio that has a microphone and a speaker um, hookups on it and you hook it up to the laptop you hook it up to the microphone on the laptop and the speaker out on the laptop of course you need that isolation that um, ground isolator box which that's all in the other video the links to, to purchase that you gotta get the right cable but this will work this software will turn almost any radio into a repeater as long as the radio has a speaker um, out and a mic um, input on the radio. So you could even use the bubble wraps that you buy, the bubble wrap uh, radios they, as they call them at Walmart or Menards or wherever. You can use those radios for this. It, it would be a, a, what they call a simplex repeater. But pretty much it's like a, a parrot. It, it repeats what you say. That's how they kind of get that. That's why there's a parrot uh, thing on here. But there's a couple basic settings I want to show you so that it will save you a lot of time because I did not know these settings. There is a help file. If you click on this question mark right here, I don't want to click on it because it goes to full screen and I'm not recording full screen for this video. So I'm not going to click on it. But there's a help file that will kind of help explain some of these settings. The only settings that we're going to be worried about are the audio settings since we're using the audio sound card in the laptop or desktop you, you can use a desktop computer it's got to be windows this is windows software now i believe this software might have been made for uh, ham radio because if you look in this if you look at the different settings the software has they talk about um having the squelch a low, uh, low output with squelch settings, um, and that's because I, I believe the ham guys would build a circuit that would hook up to their radio to to use this software. But we don't need to build any circuits because this will work with just audio. So that's why there's so many settings in this. But I'm just going to show the ones that you are going to need to worry about the most. Okay, the first thing is we want to be in simplex mode. It's the check box here, and you want to do immediate replay. Um, what that means, obviously, as it states, it's going to replay the message right away. Um, there is a setting, wait for free channel to replay. If the channel gets busy, um, the software will wait till there's no sound coming in to play it. I have not played with that setting. I'm assuming it works. Um, with this particular uh, simplex um, setting. Some of the settings may not work with the simplex, which that's okay. We don't need all the settings. Record useful signal. What that means, if there's an audio spike somehow, it won't record it and start playing it over the repeater. So I always keep that checked. So you want simplex. This does have duplex settings, but we're not going to worry. We don't. That's nothing to do with us. That's for another repeater setup. We want simplex. We want this one checked and this one checked. Now, uh, you also want the um, sound card. You click on that. I have it let Windows choose my sound card. I don't play with nothing else. Um, you also want a, there's another setting here. Right here. This, is, this setting here is really important. I'm going to explain this to you. It's true to an end of record. What that means is, do you want the software to disregard the end of the recording? And sometimes you do. And I'll give you a good example of this. If your repeater's got a squelch break, what I mean by squelch break is when you unkey, it goes chick. Let me demonstrate. I think I, I think I got my repeater still on. Listen, when I key up my repeater, did you hear that? That's a squelch break. That you don't want it to record. 
Otherwise, if you don't have this setting, if your repeater does that and you don't have this setting turned on, it will it will it will keep playing that squelch break. It will keep playing through the repeater. Don't ask me how I know this. Um, so if your repeater does that, you want to disregard the last part of your um, part of your your conversation or your your transmission. Uh, so you can set this. I have it set for 0.5 seconds. If you're using a handheld as a repeater, then you don't want this setting on. I forgot I had this setting on. And when I did the one video where I took that amplifier and I hooked it up to uh, a handheld and I hooked it up to my antenna, I don't know if you remember that video. Well, guess what? When I started doing the video, I'm like, why is it cutting off the last few words of, of what I talk? Well, I had this setting on. So if you don't got a squelch break, you turn this off. Um, also, always save your config files after you make adjustments. Exit the program. Restart the program. Um, there is... Now, I don't know if this really applies to what we're doing. According to help file, these are delays you can set. And I played with them, but I didn't really see any difference. Maybe perhaps it's meant for... When you hit, when you don't use this software as a simplex um, repeater, you use it for a different repeater setting. Um, from my, if I remember correctly, this is for when the when the ham guys would build a little circuits to interface to their radios. Sometimes it's a delay if they have a relay that's got to click on before it does a certain function. You can compensate for that split second delay for the relay by setting this but we don't have to worry about that so but um, I'm just pointing that out so that you're aware of it um, other than that that's really about it for the setting here up in here now once you get that there's a couple more things you wanna be aware of um, as you can see it's it's my voice as I talk the voice is going up obviously because it's detecting mic input so what you want to do this part right here is really important this this two second silence I have it set to two seconds and what that means is the software is going to wait when there's silence before it re replays it replays the sound so what I mean by that is you unkey you got to wait two seconds before it plays it back. Now, I'm going to tell you something. If you're, when you're talking on the radio and you pause in your conversation, be careful because the software is going to think you're done transmitting. It's going to start playing it back. So be careful on how you have this set. Two seconds seem to be pretty good. I played with this and I, I like the two seconds. Uh, but just that's what that means. So you want it to, you know, two seconds. If you want a longer, set a longer. That's up to you. Um, the other thing I, I set to the max is the record length, the th 300 seconds. Uh, what that means is you can set it so that it only records so much, then stop recording. I set it to the max. I don't want it to cut off anything, so that's what I set it to. Um, I'd have to... Uh, I, I think that's what over a minute or two or something. I'd have to convert it, but you can do that. At any rate, so that's what that means. Now, the other thing you want to be mindful of is over here in this column. This column here, right here, this tells you what you have this software set to. We have it in simplex mode. We have it detect audio because we want to record using the mic inputs. Auto. Now, I'm going to explain auto. When you're ready to start doing this, you want it to, to auto to be on. And I'll, I'll demonstrate here what I what I mean by that. I don't have it on now because I don't want it recording and playing it back every time I, I say something. 
but that's what this means. You can see here I have it off, but when you're ready to use the software, make sure you turn it on. And how you turn it on is this button right here, right here. And I'll, I'll do an example. Now, when I do this, you'll see my voice record here. When I stop for two seconds, you will see this timer thing go here, and it's and it's playing it back. You won't hear it because it's playing it through the headset I I have a headset on so you won't be able to hear it but that's how that works now I noticed too remember I was telling you when you set this up you there's volumes you got to adjust you got to adjust the volume on the handheld radio and the volume on your laptop my other video kind of explains that and if you don't have it set right then it may not pick up the recording, it may not record. If you have it set too high, it may be distorted. You'll have to play with that because every laptop's a little different. And it's just a, it's just a volume on your laptop that you got to adjust and the, and the volume and the handheld. Remember, the handheld volume it what feeds the mic input on the laptop. So if you had the volume too low on the handheld, there's nothing going into the mic input on the on the laptop to record so keep that in mind but you want this on when you're ready when you when you do it you just click here like it says so I'll do it I'll show you and watch watch here and watch here I may have to talk a little louder in the microphone because to, for it to pick up let's try and see, see let's see if I can get to work with the headset I may not be able to but we'll try it Testing one two three four. Testing one two three four. Okay, did you see that? This light turned green. It was playing it back. So I turned it off because I don't want to play it back as I'm talking. But when you're ready, to, when you got everything all set up and you want to do it, you got to make sure you turn that on. So that's pretty much about it. it it's 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 a good software. It's free. It works fairly well. Um, you can use it on a laptop, you can use it on a desktop, as long as you got mic inputs, it don't matter. Um, the only limitation would be is the length of your cable. I mean, if you're going to use, if you're connecting to another repeater, that's not a big deal. But if you want to use a handheld as a repeater, then you're going to have to have, you know, longer cable or something. Um, they do sell a box that does all this for like a hundred bucks. Uh, there's a box that you can hook up to your handheld to do the same function. Um, I didn't buy it. I may. I don't know. We'll see. But at any rate, that's how you do it. If you have any questions, like I say, there's a help file. This little right question mark. You click. I don't want to click on it because it'll go to full screen. Click on that. It will break everything down. But that's a simple version on how to do this. The software does have function to play messages at certain times. I don't know if it works. If that function works when it's in the simplex mode or if it's got to be in a duplex mode for it to work. I have not played with that, but I know there's, I don't know, if you go online and you read, oh, the GMRS repeater is supposed to self-identify, then people say, no, it, no, it don't have to. Uh, you know, they, you don't have to do that. The ham people have to do that, but not the GMRS. I don't know. What, I'm trying to weed through that mess. But this software may be able to do that. Maybe. I don't know if it will work. i got to play with it. At any rate, I hope this video is helpful. I don't think I left anything out. Any comments, post down below. Please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.